Hey, how the devil are you? So you've got your new 4K big screen TV, HDR10, Dolby Vision. Can't wait to get stuck in to watch that nonsense. Okay, so everybody goes to bed is late at night and you want to stick your headphones in. So you're not going to disturb anybody and you can have a really immersive experience. <laughs> Where the hell is the headphone socket? Oh! I mean, what's all that about? Why, why are the TV manufacturers making new TVs without a three and a half mil jack? It's not as if uh, it's an old, out of date thing. Look, I've bought this Amazon speaker here, okay? It's literally made, it came out three or four months ago. And guess what? It's got a three and a half mil jack, 2020. Come on, TV manufacturers. I've also got an anchor speaker. Portable speaker, and guess what? Look what's in the back, three and a half mil jack. I've got some great Azatum headphones. And they're not Bluetooth, it's a three and a half mil jack. Now, what manufacturers want you to do, I think the reason is, they don't want to put a headphone jack in or three and a half mil jack, because they wanted to buy more equipment and more kit, buy Bluetooth headphones by kit with HDMI or optical cable connections. So, what we intend to do is to build all our new TVs with no three and a half mil headphone jack. <laughs> and this way, everybody will have to buy all new equipment so we can make even more ridiculous amounts of money. <laughs> 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 so, rather than buying a uh, new kit, if you've already got decent pair of headphones or decent speakers, you can just buy this little box. So what does this little box do? Essentially, all it does is convert digital signal to analog signal, so you can put analog cables on the front here to connect your analog speakers or headphones. It comes with an optical cable, which you can plug into your TV. Also a coaxial cable, which plugs into your TV. It comes with a micro USB power cable, so you can plug that into a, your TV or a power source. On the front here, you've got your RCA jacks. So if you've got some old audio equipment that uses RCA, you can plug them in there. You've also got your three and a half mil jack here, so you can plug in to connect your, your speakers to three and a half mil jack or your headphones. So let's set up this bad boy and see how it works. So on the back of my TV, I've got an optical out here, and there's my USB slot there. So what I do is plug the optical cable into here, just like that, and then plug the USB power source into my USB here. And you can see now the light's on, and the device is ready to rock and roll. Right, you've got your device connected and powered up. All ready to rock and roll, yeah? Not quite. So, a lot of people I've seen reviewing it on Amazon have gone, yeah, I put it on and it didn't work, I couldn't get no sound out of it. One star review, will never buy again, send it back, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what they probably haven't done is change the output on the TV. So, do this first. So you go to your settings, and you go down to your sound settings, and change it to optical. So don't have it on your TV speaker, internal speaker, change it to optical. So I'm now on optical here. Whoop, and there you go. Now the sound will come out of this. So let's try it with my headphones first. Uh, so I've got my headphones plugged in and it's working great. Just have to take my word for it. Nah, not really, course one. That's why I've got my microphone here so I can show you that it's working. There you go. Everything we know. There was an explorer. Her name was Tek Teun. From a little regarded, sparsely populated planet. So yeah, it works great. Good sound. And you can use the volume control on this to turn it up and down. Next, let's try it with this Echo Speaker 4th Gen. Okay, so what I do, plug in my jack here. There you go, ba bump there. Slap that into the audio jack. I 
and now we should be able to get the sound through my Echo Fourth Gen. All right. Regenerated. <laughs> first regeneration of any person on the planet of Gallifrey. So it works really well. Good sound coming off it, much better than a TV speaker. Um, yeah, very happy with it. So from the reviews I've seen on Amazon, I'm going to give you some of the troubleshooting issues that people have had and see if I can explain them and tell you what to do. So the first one is the obvious one, so I've also already mentioned is that they don't get any sound out of it, it's probably because they haven't changed the output from the television through the sound settings. That's the one thing. Another one is, is that they get crackling and popping. This could be either the optical cable they provide, the optical cable isn't the best, so you may have to get your own optical cable, a better version of it. I'm not getting any issues with the one I've got at the moment, but this could be the reason. Another reason could be, is that the power uh, from your TV's USB it hasn't got enough juice to power the unit properly. So you may have to find an alternative power source, plug it into the mains via a USB plug. Now luckily my plugs come with a USB already on them, so I can plug it directly into that. So what I'm gonna do, so you don't have to, I've got a, a spare Toslink cable, optical cable, so I'm gonna, it's a much better uh, one than the one they've provided. And I'm also gonna plug it into a better power supply to see if it makes any difference to the sound. I don't know if it will or not, but I'm gonna try it anyway, whatever. I've plugged in a better optical cable, a more expensive one, and I've also now connected it to a mains power supply with this USB in here. Okay, let's see if there's any difference. Okay, so uh, I can't see, I can't hear any difference at all with the, the cables that are provided, but then again, if you do get any problems with it, it may be worthwhile checking another cable to see if that's the issue. I hope the video has helped. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go on, give that video a like. I'd really appreciate it, thank you very much. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, why not? Join the gang, come on, subscribe. <laughs> okay, anyway, thanks for watching, catch you soon. One thing I forgot to mention is if you're going to connect your TV to a Echo 3rd Gen or 4th Gen, you need to change the auxiliary from line out to line in. Very simple to do. Go into your app, go to devices, and to scroll down, find your device, scroll down a little bit further and find auxiliary audio, and it's on line out. Change it from line out to line in. Job done, all sorted.